Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, me and Adeline are on our way to town to run some errands. Ooh, and last night was the first night in the cabin for me um, in a very long time. How was it? That bed is not like Papa's bed. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, not quite as comfortable as uh, my bed in the tiny house for sure but it worked out it was nice and cool and uh, I'm a little stiff this morning I actually went on a a long bike ride yesterday uh, about an hour and 45 minutes each way to Fort Smith from where my bike is uh, me and Anthony from Country Road Cure uh, went to the Harley dealership again yesterday again and uh, to get that gasket fixed that they messed up when they was fixing that check valve and uh, uh, yeah it turned into an ordeal I had an appointment first thing in the morning so I got on the road at about seven o'clock uh, yesterday morning we got up there about 9 30 uh, I met Anthony and magazine there he rode his bike and uh yeah uh, we got there and it should from what I was told it's like 30 minute fix we was at Harley for almost 3 hours um what they didn't fail to tell me and didn't tell me why I was there either I just kind of figured it out we were sitting there waiting the whole time and they had a, like a paramedic or something there doing uh, CPR training and stuff. What the heck? Yeah. And uh, so apparently we was waiting on that and didn't even realize it. And I didn't realize it until I seen the instructor come out and uh, them cutting her a check and stuff for her uh, services. So, uh, and heard them talking about it. So basically they set an appointment with me first thing in the morning with them having the training and stuff and my bike wasn't getting worked on it we was just sitting there waiting so and then at the end that uh, one of them tried to say oh well this is a new issue and was going to try to charge me for it and i said no it wasn't a new issue it was an issue caused by uh yeah. y'all fixing the check valve and not putting the gasket back on correctly the mechanic already told me what happened it got folded or something like that they said he said it's tricky to put them on and uh, so yeah it ended up being an ordeal but it is what it is we hung out and got to look at a lot of cool bikes and stuff like that and uh, chatted with a bunch of people there and stuff there is some really cool people there and stuff uh, I don't know about the communication and that kind of stuff there but nice people there's somebody on a motorcycle yeah somebody just rode by on a motorcycle uh, but that's my rant as far as my Harley uh, saga. It is finally done, and the bike is finally done completely, and it's running absolutely amazing. And it was a really, really cool ride yesterday. Uh, first time I rode with somebody um, in a while uh, since I was in my twenties. So uh, we. How old I am 46, a long time ago, and uh, we did go to the leather shop, we was going to try to get some patches sewed on for Anthony, but they only do sewing on Friday and Saturday, uh, they did get me some glasses though, some riding glasses, I didn't have none, matter of fact, I put them on, even though I'm not riding, but it is bright out here, there we go, and uh, did that, and then we headed back, and then we went to uh, Greenwood, there's a little uh, area there that has a bunch of food trucks and stuff that I've passed a million times. So have they, and always wanted to stop and eat there. So we stopped there for lunch, had some really good, really good tacos. And uh, then we headed on back and uh, Anthony went home and I went home. And then I was uh, just getting stuff cleaned up, organized, getting ready to move into the cabin and stuff because my mom went back uh, two days ago and uh, Adeline stayed at the Drifting Dreamers the night before last so I didn't have to sleep in the cabin that night because we had to get up so early to go to Harley the next morning you needed a comfortable and 
so yeah and that brings us to this morning and the animals need some groceries huh yeah. they are groceries they're groceries no they are not yeah groceries my bunnies are not groceries no the animals need groceries um, well they are actually groceries. yeah we the said they're, they're definitely groceries the chickens I don't care yeah. Buddies? They're yeah. groceries. No. But, uh. I've never eaten. So we gotta go get food. You have. Um, we gotta go get food for them. And we're gonna go to lunch. Because Miss Adeline sleeping. here slept in this morning. She didn't get up until like 10 30. I was tired. Yeah, which we stayed up kind of late last night hanging out. We stayed up until about 12 30. We were watching a horsey show. Yeah, we was watching a Heartland uh, it's a really good series, show. and uh, I like it. And it's a good family-friendly uh, show, so it was a good one for me and her to watch together. And there's like 16 seasons, so we've been watching and that it's now. About horses. Yeah, we've been watching that and uh, Sweet Tooth, right? Isn't that the name of it, Sweet Tooth? Yes, yeah, Sweet Tooth. That's been the two series that we've been uh, watching. Sweet Tooth. Yeah, a hybrid. A hybrid. A hybrid is what they call them. Hybrid. So, yeah. And, and then the other one's just about horses. Yeah. Then uh, I was talking to Tim this morning. Uh, we're starting to plan for a ride here soon. Uh, we're thinking about the pig trail or the pigtail or pig trail. I think it's pig trail. Pigtail? What is a pigtail? It's just a big loop where you go riding motorcycles. It's got beautiful views and waterfalls and all kinds of stuff. Hey, where am I going to go? Uh, that'll be after you go back home. And Mama said I ain't allowed to take you on the motorcycle until next year. So you got to wait until next year. That's why I haven't got Adeline a helmet yet. Although we did go on a four-wheeler ride the other day. Yeah, we went cruising around, went up to the gate and then went back to the power lines and showed her the mountains and all of that. We're going to do a lot more of the four-wheeler riding. I like that. Yep, here soon. And also we're about to get back on some projects there on the mountain. Now that it has finally dried out, I want to get lift crunk up and start working on the driveway because that driveway is in bad shape right now. So I at least want to get it uh, leveled out for this season before rainy season again. And once it's leveled out, it's pretty decent until rainy season, then rainy season hurts it. But there's no point in doing much more than that until we can get ditches dug around both sides and add a bunch more culverts and stuff. Are you gonna stay up here for the winter? Uh huh? Stay up here for the winter? Yeah, it's beautiful up here in the winter. I wanna see snow. And also the fall. In the fall, all the leaves change orange and purples and yellows. And it's beautiful. I want to see. Well, hopefully you can come up for Christmas this year. Hey. Because um, every single Christmas, I have to wait for my gifts. Yeah. Papa. It's yeah, you had to wait a long time this time. Huh? I know. It's not that Papa didn't get them. It's just a long time before you got over there to get them. So. But it was, cool, it was some cool gifts though, wasn't it? Hoverboard. Yeah, hoverboard and a cool helmet and a couple yeah, other little things. Me. Should have brought your helmet, but you was on a plane. It would have been hard to bring your helmet. I didn't have a Working on a oh, get, yeah, getting did. Adeline an e bike here soon. Oh, you got a side by side cruising down the street. We're also going to stop by and see the motorcycle on the way back. Yay. Show Miss Adeline. And uh, I need to check out a couple of things on it while I'm there. Uh, there's a couple of odds and ends stuff that I need to get for it. Just to make it a little bit more comfortable for me. The only reason I think Papa's getting me up, um, whatever it's called. E-bike. E-bike is I'm now able to I wouldn't say you're a professional. You've okay. only been riding a little bit. But <laughs> you can ride it now without wrecking. Yeah. So that's a start. Only downhill, like. 
Yeah, she likes the old e-bikes. So I had a company reach out to me, quite a few of them in the emails there, and uh, one of them had kids' bikes, so I'm trying to work on a deal to get her a kids' one, and uh, they're probably going to send me an adult one too, that way me and her can go riding, because I can't ride my other e-bike on that video, just because of contract reasons and stuff like that, so we'll be doing that here soon. You have a what? Another e-bike? Yeah, I've already got one. Papa's got a big one in the garage. It's way too big for you. Way too big. It's huge. It's huge. It's a big one for Papa. I'll show you when we get back home. And the grass already just about needs to be cut again. And then out there by the chicken area, all of that's starting to grow up quite a bit. And down the driveway where the goats were the last two moves. We have one thing to say. Bunny cutter, the grass cutters? Yep. Yeah, they do a good job, don't they? We put them in one area, and then like three days, or I don't know how many, they already nibbled it all down. Yep, they already did, did their job. Uh, yeah, we just moved them a couple days ago, huh? We did. I'm also going to be moving the goats again this coming up week. I want to put them on uh, some green grass before I... Uh, take the trip to Mississippi because Freedom Weekend is next weekend not this weekend but next weekend so we got a lot going on there's be a lot of moving and shaking I'm not trying to take on any huge projects right now because uh, we got Freedom Weekend next weekend and then two weeks after that I'm going to Florida to take Adeline home and also gonna spend my birthday there and, uh, but once I get back it's it's full go it's full go um, I think the first big project I'm going to work on is getting a slab poured and try to get that shed back up. Being that I've got all this new equipment. Um, I've never been to Mississippi. So. Nope. And uh, it's going to be a really good time. It's going to be fun like Freedom Weekend last year. That's one of the first things Adeline asked me. Are we having another big party? <laughs> yeah, she had such a good time last year. But, uh, they have glow sticks. Yeah, the Fireworks. The first big project I'm going to do after Adeline goes back home is the garage, um, which hints the reason why I need to clear out around where the chickens are and all that, because that garage is going to go in that area. So I need to get all that cleared out, leveled out, cleaned up, and stuff. That way I can form it up for the slab. I'm going to do a 22 by 22 slab there. The building is a 20 by 20. And then... Uh, call in a family weekend and get the building put back up and then I want to do two big lean tubes off each side of it um, to be able to store the boat and the tractors and the four-wheeler and golf cart and kind of all of that stuff uh, just, pizza. just to get everything out yeah we had breakfast pizza last night it was good huh she ate more than I did I ate two slices she ate three she was hungry you had three no I had two you didn't finish your own. No. I didn't even finish. He I wasn't that hungry. You everything off of it. You didn't even actually eat it. Yeah. Well, I ate one of them all the way, but I picked up the other one. I wasn't as hungry as you yesterday. She was starving last night. So we had us a little breakfast dinner last night. I almost ate the whole thing. Let's see here. We've been chatting for about 14 minutes today. Is there anything else you would like to tell them? Uh, no. Have a good day. Uh, have a good day. Be nice to people. Be nice to people. And nice take a step closer to the, your goal. Step closer to your goal. And what was that she was going to say? Subscribe, like, hit the notifications bell, and share with friends. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's going to be it. Love every single one of y'all. Took yesterday off for uh, the day because I was on the road. Uh, getting all the Harley stuff situated But uh, we're back. We're back yep. All right guys. I love every single one of y'all y'all keep it real